Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M45. The M45 is used during most close combat scenarios, particularly in urban areas with heavy enemy occupation, as well as in boarding actions. It was used in numerous military operations in urban terrain situation during the insurrection, and was met with widespread acclaim by its users. The M45 later saw widespread use during the Human Covenant War. The trademarks on the gun feature Mizrai Armory's logo, located at the rear, Another one located above the trigger, as well as the UNSC logo, and probably uh, a unique serial number if I had to guess. And lastly, another UNSC logo located at the front. The M45 features a stock with a sling mount located above. And the most unique part about this shotgun, not just Halo Reach, is the fact that you load shells in this gun from the top. Typically in real life, you load shells at the bottom of the gun, not the top. Not saying that's a bad thing at all, but it's definitely an interesting design for Halo's pump-action shotguns. Which means the tubular, non-detachable magazine is located at the top. The gun is chambered in M296 8-gauge magnum shell ammunition. One last thing to mention is the gun does come with a side-mounted flashlight. The sights on this weapon are a bit contradicting and kind of backwards. There should be a post at the front, but instead there's a gap in the middle. The rear sights feature red fiber optic sights, however, for some reason the post in the middle is sitting in between the fiber optic sights. So when I show you what the sight picture looks like from the front of the gun, you can see what I'm talking about when I said the sights are kind of flipped backwards. That being said, at least the post in the rear can still be used at the end of the day, and this is just a shotgun, so I guess the sights aren't that big of a deal, unless you're using slugs. The red fiber optic sights are almost useless then because the, of the post in the middle. And I said almost useless because at least they can help you acquire your targets in low light situations. Now that I'm done rambling about the sights, one last thing I should mention is that there is a rail located at the top. So if you don't like the sights, you can probably add some kind of red dot if you so please. The M45 holds 6 shells in the tubular magazine, plus 30 extra spare shells. The fire rate I got was around 70 rounds per minute. Reload speed I got was around 3.18 seconds. As far as the tactical reload speed goes, it pretty much varies considering you can cancel the reload at any time. Max effective range is 8.65 meters. Now I do aim at the head when I try to get a weapon's red reticle range, but as you can see, when I aim at the torso, there is no red reticle range. I'll just show and prove to you that even though the reticle is not red, this is the max effective range. First strike!
Next up, I'm going to try and include a new segment to these weapon analysis videos. We're going to test the gun's accuracy at a few ranges. I'll also be going over shots to kill as well. So, at around 4.32 meters, the gun will kill in one shot no matter what. Shotgun spree. Killing spree. This range is at 5.1 meters, and I believe this is going to be the max effective range for getting a one-shot kill. When I stepped back to about 5.76 meters, I found that around this range, the gun will take two shots to kill instead of one. Open season, killing frenzy. And finally, at 8.65 meters, which is the max effective range, it took three shots to kill. Any further away will be deemed ineffective. Now as far as TTK goes, as I said, if you are within 5.1 meters or closer, you are going to get a one-shot kill. Buck Wild, running riot. And the TTK at 8.65 meters is 2.06 seconds. So that about sums up Halo Reach's shotgun. Now I'm going to include the shooting portion of the video next, which I normally save for the end, but once again, I'm trying something new, and after that, I'll give my final conclusions. Overall, there isn't a lot for me to say about this gun. I mean, it's a shotgun. It functions exactly like you'd expect. Despite me finding the effective ranges on this gun, sometimes, from my experience, this gun can be inconsistent. You'll be at ranges where you think you'll get the one-shot kill, and you just won't. Maybe a very small damage increase will make this gun a little bit more consistent, but other than that, the rest of the gun is fine. And that's pretty much it, so please hit the like button if you enjoyed, share the video around, Subscribe if you want to stick around, thank you for watching this video, and until next time, peace. The M45 is used during most combat, combat, as well as in boarding actions as well. Oh, I just, I just realized I said as well twice. I'm a fucking idiot.